Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to paint some miniature potted orchids. These would be wonderful in a bullet journal or maybe on a lovely greetings card. So grab your paints and let's get started. I absolutely love painting miniature things and I've been asked by my patrons to paint some orchids in pots so that is what I'm doing. So I don't know if you know but my patrons get to make requests on the YouTube content which is quite cool. So it means not only are you getting all this extra content but you're getting some some tailored YouTube tutorials as well. So I've just drawn two pot shapes and now I'm going to just draw in some stems for my two orchids. So I think what I'm going to do is have one sort of coming over and, and one going down underneath. So they have a bit of a curve out from the bottom and then they are either sort of held up with a bit of help from some little stalks in the ground or yeah well actually you know they nearly always have a bit of a stick or a bit of bamboo helping them along so that is going to be the beginning and we're going to have some lovely um, orchid leaves popping out there but that's all we need our pencil for so goodbye pencil and we will make a start so I'm actually going to begin with the sort of I'm going to put a little bit of moss in the bottom of the pots and have the leaves protruding out from the bottom as the first thing I do. So we're painting in miniature, we're going to be using quite small brushes, two tenths to begin with, and I'm just going to fill the base of my pot with a little bit of moss, just dabbing the brush a little bit with a quite dilute Um, quite dilute bit of paint and then we're going to have the leaves protruding out and we're going to paint our pots a nice sort of simple color and we're going to have orchids in a lovely pink now orchids are um, they range in style and shape but on the whole I can teach you a really nice simple way to achieve them. So we're going to begin by creating a well, a little sort of almost like a little butterfly shape I suppose. So with a nice dilute permanent rose I'm going to paint this sort of double winged shape on this orchid plant and then I'm going to go a bit further up and I'm going to paint so sometimes they will be a little bit squashed like that if they're facing away and then other times they'll be a bit broader little butterfly wings and orchids tend to grow in sort of alternating pairings. So I'm just painting all up one side at the moment. And then of course we do get to the end where the stem is still with buds and things, things that haven't quite grown yet. have one just growing there and then I think from now we'll have a series of buds that haven't quite grown So 
So I'm just going to fill out my two orchid pots with these little butterfly wings that get gradually smaller until we get to the end of our stem. So back down to the leaves, which I said we were going to begin with before I got all excited and sidetracked by the actual flowers. So I've got sap green, I've got a size two brush, so quite a large brush, and I am going to paint in these lovely orchid leaves by just using the belly of the brush and then in these single strokes creating the sort of overlapping leaf formation that you get with an orchid plant. I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. The number of leaves and I'm now going to go in with a little bit of French ultramarine blue to just smooth the lower edges of some of those leaves because they're so lovely and glossy and dark orchid leaves that just putting a bit of pure French ultramarine onto a slightly wet sap green leaf gives it a beautiful intense darkness. It also is a useful way of sort of cleaning up the edges because they're very glossy and slick those leaves. The next stage for our little orchids is to create the remaining part of the flower. So we place in a little drop at the top and then two strokes just fanning out at the bottom and then I'm going to clean my brush off and I've got some alizarin and crimson here and I'm just going to dab it in there. It seems strange that I would paint in the two sort of butterfly petals first and then add the two behind but when you're painting such a small scale actually what I want is to use those those petals in the foreground to help define the ones in the background So dilute permanent rose just as before and I'm just looking around for the petals that have dried 100% so a little top flower there it goes and then and if you can try and avoid getting a hair on your brush in a key moment then that's a great idea And then for those petals that are a little bit sort of squashed on their side, just remember the direction in which they're growing. And we're just sort of putting these tiny little markers in and we'll be able to add more detail once it's all dry. And these look not half bad, I think. Um, you just gotta have a little bit of faith when you're painting miniature things. It just takes a few more layers for it to come together. Speaking of which, we are now going to start to put the stem in place and also the buds at the end of those stems. So I'm mixing up a color using Prussian blue and cadmium red, and it makes this wonderful deep dark I always call it an aubergine colour, it's it's sort of a brownie purple 
and it's one of my favourite colours for painting in things that sort of look like they might be black but, but aren't. And so these are the stems, so I'm going to begin by popping that in there. And then I'm going to start to add in the little branches as well. And remember they come off at alternating points, but we won't always see them. But what we will see is the last bit. So we've got one there and then we'll have one. And I'm going to use this colour to paint in little buds just by using the sort of squished down bristles and then completing the circle with the fine tip which just turns that bud into a lovely little bit of unpainted space. And you can see that this colour, once it's a little more dilute, is a lovely brownie purple. Just use the pencil line as your guide. finish off the orchid itself, this will probably be a bit of a stretch for the zoom in, but it is just a simple series of a few dots. I'm just waking up my Alizar and Crimson a little bit more because I want to get a nice concentrated amount, but I also need a little bit of cadmium yellow. Okay, so I'm going to create the sort of central stamen of the orchid flower, but in a very, very simplistic manner. So cadmium yellow is great because it's a little bit opaque. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint in a dot in the center, and then Going to just paint in two little Alizar and Crimson dots that just touch it, and then with a tiniest bit of Alizar and Crimson on the brush, I'm just doing a very small amount of just spreading it out. A tiny bit so let's do that again shall we so we've got a nice concentrated dot of cadmium yellow clean that brush off and then we get two dabs of alizar and crimson that can just touch the edge of that yellow if they can and then with the tiniest amount of Alizar and Crimson on the brush, I'm just giving things a tiny bit of an edge. And that's quite cool actually, so what's happening there, the yellow has just crept out into the edge of the Alizar and Crimson. Don't overwork it, but you can just play about and blend a little bit. And then the other important thing is to do one from the side. So this one here, because the, the stamen sort of sits out proud a little bit, so it's going to sit out front there. But 
but as I said this is literally teeny weeny and it's just a series of dots in the middle and then a little bit of blending. We've now got the main bulk of the work done so I've just added a little bit more Prussian blue into this mix to get a slightly more intense dark colour to just do some low light accents on some of the buds and of course a bit on the stem as well. Now I'm getting a bit of sap green to just give the moss in the pot a bit of extra texture. You don't want much colour on your brush, just mainly more water. And all we need to do now is do the pots. So I'm going to use Prussian Blue on its own now. That lovely of greeny blue colour and I've got a slightly larger brush I've got a, a size two tenths gosh uh, if that's a large brush you can tell we've been working really small today and I'm just going to change my water over as well for this last bit and I'm going to use sort of a low angled brush clean that off the other side with a slightly thinner line. Clean the brush off again, just blend it in. And it's essentially giving a, a look of a pot that could be a pale blue but it also could be white and these shadows have just got a lovely blue tone to them. And to finish off, I'm going to just add some burnt sienna into my Prussian blue. Get a larger brush to do that. And we'll mix up some shadow, some actual shadow, to create some shadows along the ground. Burnt Sienna and blue, either Prussian blue or French ultramarine, make a great shadowy colour, which we can use both for just sort of casting a, a little low shadow across the ground. Also for maybe just a little bit from where these leaves are. Just casting a little bit of shadow over the top of the pot. If you want to create a bit more of a patterned pot, then I have quite a few tutorials with some really lovely designs and patterns um, that you can find in my flowers and foliage playlist where we've got vases of miniature flowers. Um, but for now, that is your simple miniature potted orchid illustration. 
Thanks so much for watching. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating these videos that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button below or comment to let me know how you're getting on. And of course, if you subscribe, then you will never miss another video. Okay, until next time, bye.